We're about to start dealing cards. And when we deal cards, that's when cards go from one card card collection to another or from a deck to a card collection or card collection to deck or hand to card collection. So where should we put this deal method where cards are going to go from one container to another? Well, we could put it in hand. We could also put it in deck. But if we want to be able to use it in deck or hand, it makes sense to put it in card collection because deck and hand both inherit all the public methods from card collection. So that's where we're going to put the deal method. As to where should we put it? I think here is fine. Alt shift F. Okay, so this is a public void, so it doesn't return anything deal. It's not static, so it operates on one card collection object called this. And I'm going to go ahead and explicitly write this dot pop card. All right, so what direction is this going? There's this object, but there's also a second card collection called that. Uh, I don't really like this nondescriptive name. So let's see what this method actually does. So it's a for loop loops n times, easy to understand. So it's going to remove a card from this, and it's going to add the card to that. So let's give this a better, let's give that a better name. Uh, th that is the card collection the card's going to go to. So let's see, collection, let's call it destination. Oops, we better go control R. So I'm going to call it destination. And because this method is confusing, let's write a Java doc here. So remove cards from this object and add them to destination. So destination is the uh, where the cards will be added. And n is the number of cards. So right here is a great opportunity to make a more descriptive variable name. So control R, number of cards. And if you notice when I did that, it also changed up in the parameters here. Uh, I did have to hit enter at the end for it to accept it. Uh, I almost think you don't need to describe this, but I still will. The number of cards to deal. All right, so that is deal right there. And there's a deal all that basically just fills in that value, number of cards, Alt Shift F. And again, I'm gonna call this destination. All right, I don't really care, the end's fine. Uh, the reason I changed this right here that I've highlighted number of cards because you'll see that externally uh, this int n is a uh, variable that won't exist outside the method, so it doesn't really matter what you call it inside the method. Uh, however, parameters are seen outside the method, so those really should be descriptive. All right, so let's go ahead and run some test code. So where is this code going to go? Uh, we want this to actually run, so we're going to make a new deck, new hand, and call a couple methods on it and that needs to go in our public static void main. So place that all here. I could probably comment out the original. So we got new deck, new hand. And if you notice, we have a draw pile. It's also a hand. All right, remember, what's the difference between a deck and a hand? Uh, they certainly have a different constructor. Uh, so deck, when you build a deck, it automatically gets all 52 cards. So most games, you only want one deck. You don't want two decks. Uh, 
there's a few games that use more than one deck, but most games use only one deck, so you don't want to have more than one deck object. Uh, hand, however, hand can be used for lots of things, and anytime you want uh, a container to hold cards that can change size, we're going to use hand. All right, so you notice there's one called hand, which might represent a player hand, and then there's one called draw pile, which is going to represent an extra collection of cards that we're going to draw from. There's a print statement. We don't use this one too often, but this percent %d is a uh, number placeholder, and the number that's going to get filled in is this draw pile dot size right there. All right, so we're going to make a new deck, shuffle it, deal five to hand, then display the hand, then deal the rest to the draw pile and display the draw pile. So we got five in the hand and the draw pile has 47 cards. Uh, I could print out the draw pile. That would be a reasonable thing to do. Draw pile dot display. And I should be able to tell that those five cards are missing. Uh, I'm going to just assume that they are and move on. All right. So this deck is shuffled. So you're going to get a different result every time. If I unshuffle or not unshuffle, if I don't shuffle, I should get the same cards each time. King, queen, jack, 10, nine, king, queen, jack, 10, nine of spades. This would be from the, I believe this would be the end right there. Okay, so I feel good about the way this is working. Uh, obviously, you probably want more than one hand. Um, and sometimes you want a discard pile for crazy eights, so we're going to need to build some more things. 